So as a lot of y'all know, we made a transition from hog gaming to hog television. Uh, I guess about a month ago now. Maybe it's been a little bit less than that, but my time flies by so fast. I don't always remember my dates or whatever, but it was kind of it's kind of cool that this happened right about the time, you know, a little bit after that Asmund Gold uh, was kind of, you know, just playing around saying that it looked like public access. That gave me just the best damn idea. Holy shit, let's do a public access stream. Because, look, I'm going to be real, and everybody knows it. There's only so much video game watching that you can do, right? I mean, let's be real. Would you... Watching a video game's fucking boring. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, not all the time, but majority of the time it is. So I thought, you know, instead of picking a game and all this, let's let's think outside the box a little bit. Way out there, you know. I wanted to do something that no one's really doing. And uh, so big, big ups to Asmund for kind of sparking this. But I snatched it and ran with it. So anyway, what I'm rambling on about is I want to show you all the last couple segments we've been doing on, on Twitch, on stream. It's called hog public television and we have had an absolute blast now it's kind of a troll stream um, i've discovered these other creators that are doing um they're like a satire church type stream and i have just belly laughed at some of those and so taking a heavy inspiration from those couple creators uh, just to shout them out uh, king chill xl does a really fantastic program uh, angry scar 69 does a he doesn't do a church one but he does like a tech talk call in that's a lot of fun um, and then the Christ United Mission is another uh, satire church. So those guys are just absolutely hilarious. And uh, I didn't even know this stuff existed. So uh, I like improv. I like playing. I like uh, doing all that kind of stuff. So I started doing the public access. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about it. This is a satire thing. So if you're offended easily or whatever, like you shouldn't get offended by this. But it's just something that we've had fun with. And we've kind of picked on some shows from the past so in my discord you'll see a section it's called call in it's for a call in show and there's some ideas and artwork submissions and just some fun things you can do there but this is a really cool way for the audience to uh, interact and troll and and get a good laugh it's not for everybody but it's pretty damn fun to me and we're going to start incorporating this into our regular rotation so make sure to come check me out on twitch i'm sure a lot of y'all are going to ask about um in the multi-stream to YouTube, we most likely will be doing that. Again, I just got to get all that set back up since we've got away from using the stream labs because we weren't multi-streaming anymore. So, anyway, appreciate y'all. Let's check out Hog Public Television. Hog Public Television. Bringing you the best. Things he does to get out of Look! Look here, Tank. This is public broadcasting, okay? We are funded by the crowd, and the crowd reflects the quality. Public broadcast. Hog public broadcast. You know what? I don't have to listen to this already. Don't be talking back. It's a brand new show. We're trying to get good ratings, trying to get a lot of a lot of good vibes going here, okay? have a nice public access show and y'all got to troll with the hippie shit he needs some milk i don't need any milk and then there's chunky i he don't said. know anyone named chunky no one's chunky's dead One time I got so smoked I ran through a cornfield butt naked thinking aliens were chasing me trying to probe my bum. Welcome to Hippieland. Can we clip that out? Clip it out. You didn't hear what he said? God damn it. Famous, look. First of all, thanks for 100 bits, but you don't... 
that kind of stuff needs to be kept to yourself, not shared on public access television. Ditch him. Hold on. Nobody asked for John Cena to come. Every time that y'all cash in and submit and summon John Cena, I have to pay him. Don't bring him on here. Okay. Beavis. And his name is John Cena. Yeah, yeah, and his name is John Cena. I'm gonna have to go. And his name is John C. And his name is John C. Cody. And How his many? name is John C. How many times do I have to tell y'all I can play John C? I'm about to pay him. This is costing me thousands and thousands of dollars. Mr. Hogg's Neighborhood is a family show, filmed in front of a live studio audience. The staff of Mr. Hogg's Neighborhood ask that you please refrain from cursing, summoning wrestlers, backing asses up, performing CPR, and other inappropriate things. Thank you for your cooperation. So today we're going to be reading All Nuts by Rob Mc... And his name is John C... No, we're not. No, John Cena's not making an appearance on today's show, okay, boys and girls. We are reading all nuts. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're not summoning John Cena doing anything like that, okay? okay. single handedly destroyed wrestling. Excuse me, boys and girls. Hulk Hogan is not. Okay. Hulk Hogan is a bad man. Okay. We don't need to be playing Hulk Hogan. And I know y'all like John Cena and all, but today we're going to read all nuts by Rob McClurkin. Okay. This is, this is serious. This is a great book and I've been wanting to share it with y'all. Okay. So can we get serious, please? I guess not. Nut. Nut. That's real cute. We don't need... Mm. That's right. The name. Of, that's right. All nuts. Very good. Y'all can read. It says all nuts right here. Mr. Rock. Would you like to join my my, my dad's Minecraft? No, no, Minecraft no. Minecraft. I no. got business cards here. We're not doing Minecraft today, okay? No, maybe some other time. Okay. He needs some no. milk. No, I don't need any milk. Spy. I don't need milk, y'all. I just uh, can we cut to a commercial, please? Hey, this is Dean Trumbull for the Mattress Man. Give me a call at three seven zero zero four sixty six for limited time only. D and D Mattress has queen mattress sets for ninety nine dollars and king sets for one twenty nine. Shit. <clears throat> okay, now. His name is John C. No, no, no. This is this is a family show. This is a family show. We don't need anything backing up. This is Mr. Hogg's neighborhood, okay? We don't need no backing up. We don't need John Cena in here. We don't need Harry. We don't need none of this. We ain't even got to the first page all nuts. Okay? Nuts. No nothing. Oh, hell yeah. Prowler, thanks for the sub. That's how y'all should be acting. 
Okay? And then there's Chunky. He's dead. No one's dead. And there's no one here named Chunky. Every Every single solitary time. Please. And his name is John C. Gator, this is a family show. We don't, we're not here. No, we don't need that. Y'all, yes, Spot, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, okay? Hulkster would fucking wreck Barney. We don't need to be talking negative about Barney. He's on the public show also. Would you like to join my my dad's Minecraft I don't, I don't even play Minecraft! I've got business cards here. I don't need a business card! I don't need CPR! Don't put your mouth on anything. We don't need fucking CPR. Nut. Please stop with the nut. Yes, the name of the book is. He needs some milk. I don't need any. I don't need any milk. I saw you making love to Trolley. Is he in paint? Do you hear? Get him off the screen. This is a family show. This is a family show, please. And excuse me, making love to Trolley? No, I did not do that. Trolley is a valued member of the team. Okay? Hulk thinks Hulk is the biggest American. Hulk Hogan is not an American hero, and he doesn't belong on this show ever. Get this lion. Boys and girls, this is the example of a lion. Piece of shit. Right here. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. He needs some milk. Don't need any milk. Hell yeah, get him and in his here. Name is Honesty, loyalty, responsibility. That's that guy right there, John Cena. That's somebody to look up to, not Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I'm trying to be a good role model. Let's get back to the book. He needs some milk. I don't need any milk. I don't need it. I got plenty of milk. I don't need any milk. Okay? I don't need John Cena. I don't need the PORN hub. I don't need any of that. Would you like to no! my, my, my dad's Minecraft? I'm sorry Minecraft for yelling at you. I don't, I really don't want to join your Minecraft here. server. I, I don't play Minecraft. Someone fill Mike in on what's going on. Mike, you are at Mr. Hogg's neighborhood. This is public access television. We are reading all nuts. Andre, let him slam him. He let him. He let him slam him. Uh, nobody slammed Andre unless he let him do it. Hulk Hogan ain't shit. <sighs> it's Chunky's Corner. Come on, bruh. It's Chunky's Corner. Come on, bruh. It's Chunky's Corner. What's up, bros? <laughs> this is like the best debut show ever, bruh. For like Chunky's Corner. Because you know why? <laughs> bros. Hog, like. I was fine, like, I went outside, you know, like, smoked my joint, you know? <laughs> and, like, I went out there, like, 
I was like looking around. I was like, damn, it's tight out here, you know. Like the leaves are all changing color, you know, because it's like fall time, you know. Like I love the fall because like, like, like put on my sandals, like, like feel the air between my toes, you know. But like, anyway, like I was smoking this AK-47, like hybrid blend that I have with like some Mother Earth, which is like. And, you know, chunky special blend that he made himself, you know? So, like, anyway, I've got this, like, super earth-friendly hemp pipe that, like, I use from, like, the pine tar resin of, like, the hemp plant, you know? Like, because I believe in, like, 100%, like, no waste in the land, you know what I mean? Like, keep the landfills free, bruh, and, like, it's all tight. But anyway, like... Heard Hog in here, like, trying to give his, like, little spiel, you know, like, Ray, don't, don't do this, and we're public broadcasting, like. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. I'm very obviously Chunky's not dead, dead. bro. It's me, dead. Chunky, the flesh, see? I got my hair and everything, bro. Like, it's really nice. It's got, like, beads in it, you know, like dreads, really long dreads, took me like a really long time, you know, like get it all done right, you know, like look, it's tight. Like, yeah. I mean, so, you know, like we're public access, so we got like a green screen, like I got some green beads in there, so like they're not show sometime, but like it's pretty tight, they got hog legs, kind of a dick, you know, we like set stuff up like pretty cool, like I couldn't do that shit. But like anyway, like look, bros, like everything's cool, man, like no one's chunking on chunky, you know what I mean? Like, it's tight. But anyway, like listen, like chunky sucks, bruh. What? Why you gonna like not be cool to chunky, bruh? Like what a chunky do to you, bruh. Nah, bro. Like, Hog's tight, man. Like, yeah, he's kind of a dick, you know? But, like, he doesn't touch me or anything. Like, I'm a family dollar sock, you know what I mean? Like, it's $4, you know? Like, those women wanted me, maybe. But, like, <laughs> Hog? Like, nah, bro. That dude's, like, almost 40, bro. He's like a boomer, bro. I'm, like, fucking new age hippie, bro. Like, tight, you know? He's always, like, trying to fire up the hippie. You're like, yo. You know he built this big like drill to like drill through us if we ever try to have like a festival like y'all know there's a festival coming right like he's lying about everything like he says there's no tickets you know but like while he's in his office like crying I saw there's tickets bros like bros there's tickets bros nah bro like no nice. Please don't nut on me, bruh. Like, it's not cool. All right, look. I'm trying to tell you about the tickets, bruh. There's tickets, bruh. Did y'all know them? There's, tick There's tickets to Hippie Land, bro. It's time, bruh. So, like, look, look. The, the only problem with Hippie Land is, like, this drill, you know, like, you know, Hog, like, doesn't play around, you know, like, he builds some cool stuff, like, that drill's no joke, bro, like, and, like, the, the, like, objective is to, like, drill through us, bro, like, we're, we're jamming out, like, the most tubular, radical, like, you know, like, Grateful Dead tribute band, you know, like, because, you know, it's public access, you know, like, we, it's probably gonna be, like, a CD of a tribute band, honestly, because like, we can't afford to play it to pay anybody to, like, come in here, you know? But, like, anyway, like, it'll be tight, we'll be jammed. He needs some milk! I don't need any milk, bruh. I'm not a milk sock, bruh. But anyway, like, what I was saying was, like, I was gonna try to, like, drill through us, bro, like, Put some slay or some like some dirty no. I don't know how many times I'm gonna ask you, bruh. I'm not for nuts. I'm not for for none of that. No milk. I'm not I'm not that kind of sock, bruh. I'm a hippie sock. Woo! 
<laughs> you're like sometimes bro like sometimes sometimes like i'm not gonna lie like before like i might i may or may not be recycled but like before i got recycled no but, like like i was saying like before i got recycled like i was like i was you know hippie sock bro like i'm still hippie sock but like my owner before me like I was with him for a long time and then he turned he was like 16 you know like he found some weed in his brother's like room you know he wasn't supposed to be in there like it was so awesome and then he like was smoking in his room and so he like took a paper towel roll with like you know some dryer sheets you know like even though it's like really really bad for the environment bro like you shouldn't have those in your house like you shouldn't even really wash your clothes cause like natural fragrance is way better for everybody but anyway like he put the dryer sheets in that tube then he put the tube in me you know like yeah and so like he blow <laughs> blow he blow through me and like i'd feel to the smoke out bro so tight it was so tubular you know because i'm like a tube sock <laughs> it's just like a sock joke bro but like anyway like yeah that is what happened to me before I was recycled and like now this is where I'm at now bro my choke is caught and Brad's tight